Okay, in this next scene, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to just adjust this and place it a little bit more properly. So uh, this is the front of the house, and that's the back, as you probably can tell. And the first thing that I want to do is, uh, and how did I get here? Well, a little trick to remind you is you always use the scene graph. Click here, press F, and then zoom in okay, to where you want to go. And as you can see, it's a little bit off the road here. So what I'm going to do is drop this a little bit in. So I'm pretty happy with that. And maybe I need to push it in as well. So about here, let's drop it again. We definitely want to keep it above ground. So just about, yeah, that's pretty good. And the other thing I want to do is I'm going to click on this and replace it with the same color of the asphalt as I have everywhere else. Now, I think that looks a lot better. You can see how it uh, basically uh, goes along the road. So what I want to do now is I'm going to grab a couple of trees and decorate and make it look, uh, again, the purpose of this twin motion is to sell the architectural package, okay? And I see how there's a bit of difference in the grass. I could fix that too, but I'm not going to bother. Um, so I'm going to go all the way to the top. I'm going to go to uh, vegetation and landscape. I'm going to go to tree. And you know, there's quite a few trees, so maybe you, you can pick based on what the, would be common in the area, but for now, I'm not gonna get too fussy with that. So one of the things that trees can do too is create a lot of shade. So I'm gonna just place it. I don't think I like that one, it's just too big. So I'm gonna go Control Z. And again, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna try and see if this, I could shrink the tree, obviously. Um, and uh, using the uh, four, five, six keys, Just going to place a tree over here actually because it just looks a lot better. Um, oh, my computer froze. So it's probably a good time to remind you to save it. Uh, so I'll just make sure I have the right item here. We want to move it and we're going to place it down here in the ground. I'll press F to move up, make sure it's properly in the ground. And I'll go down. Yeah, it's pretty good. And on this side, what I want to do is I'm going to place a car. So let's go up here under vehicles and cars. Let's go with this cute little car, red, change the color. And while I'm at it, I'm going to place an animated human. So right over here under characters, there's an, you can even have animals. Let's just I know this lady looks fine. We'll just put her right there. And you can change the mode. You can even have uh, phoning idle one. Let's just do idle one. Let's get our arms crossed. I don't like that. It's kind of just sitting there. That's good. You could also go get a cat. Why not? Or a dog. I'm more of a dog person. So let's just get a nice big dog and drop him in. And let's see. F kind of just randomly facing stuff here and want to make sure we have them on the ground. The goal is to make this scene look as realistic as possible. And maybe we want to have a cat on the garage and that's what he's looking at. You know, probably none of this will show up in my video at the end. It could. And I'll rotate the cat so he's looking down at the, at the dog. Basically have a lot of fun just filling up your scene. That's kind of the goal of this here. Okay, so I'm going to go under objects and under city. I'm going to go get a fountain. Uh, that's not what I thought it was. You can even place a, a bench right here. So let's... Uh, Rotate that so it's facing this way. And let's make sure it's right on the ground. Okay, right there is good. Got a nice bench. So basically, put some set decoration here. Maybe you want a, a nice trash can. Well, people probably wouldn't have these outside of their, their house, but um, street light is probably a good idea. So let's place these. These often come with... Uh, with animations or light, I should say. So there's one. 
you can place the, the kind of light that you think would suit best your scene. I'll just put one. Again, the goal is to create, uh, if you press Alt, let's just drop another one in here. You gotta pick the same one here. We'll put two. And we can even put another one over here. Make sure it's adequately placed. Let's drop it a little bit. Okay, and I'm even gonna put a human in the backyard. Why not? Get an animated character. There you go. Maybe he's talking, so I'll go talking. Speaking, there he is, and I'll drop somebody else in there that he's talking to. She's in the front, so we'll drop this guy. And uh, he can be talking too. Press F. Kind of like, it look like he's talking. We'll just click at him and rotate him. Look like they're together. He's listening. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, you can keep doing stuff. Uh, we might do the inside of the house in the next video. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know.